is Leilani, and today is going to be a day in the life through the perspective of my four-year-old's eyes. Now, she is a preschooler, we homeschool her, and she does have Down syndrome. I'm going to share with you specifically what we do with her in a day. Today, she's doing a lot of therapies. She's, you'll see, you'll see all of that. Uh, first, I want to mention this is a collaboration with Valerie at our homeschool castle. So in the play, actually the description box below, there's going to be a playlist. And that way, if you're a parent who has a child with special needs or just needs some support, you can connect with some other women who are kind of in the same boat because I really feel like we all need each other. It's, it's for real. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. This is kind of how we do it on a Wednesday and I, yeah. So a fluke happened and I'm totally serious when I say a fluke. We had 30 minutes to spare before we actually had to leave and go to aqua therapy. And for those 30 minutes, I decided we were gonna do a quick little Bible study as a family. So the boys, I had the boys do the reading. I had Hannah, she would do the coloring. And I had Naomi, well she did some coloring. But the point was, is that we were doing this all together as a family. Now I know Naomi doesn't understand what we're saying all the time, but she's there and she recognizes that when we sit down and read, it's not playtime for her to get up and run around and do whatever she wants to. She's a part of the group and that's something I wanna train her into doing, get her used to doing so as she gets older, it's like an automatic thing for her. So right now, I just dropped my daughter off at her aqua therapy class with her physical therapist. The boys are at home with daddy and it's completely girly day today. I'm doing all the therapy stuff with Naomi. Hannah's coming along with me. We're gonna do some schooling in the car. I don't know, you'll see, we'll have more stuff. But in aqua therapy, they start off with some physical therapy stuff, climbing, kicking, and then they get into the pool. Yes, we're getting into the pool in March. It's a heated pool, it's indoors, and we live in Florida. We have to just always be in the water. Actually, no, it's too cold for Floridians, but it is heated. It's a heated pool. Get out, get out of the pool. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You get got out. it. Go, you got it, go. Go. Get out. Go. Nah. You're fine. Go. Get out. Whoa. Whoa. Good job. Say thank, thank you. you. Diana, go up. <laughs> Bye. After we are done with her aqua therapy, physical therapy, it's like aqua physical therapy, we're gonna go ahead and head over to her occupational therapist. That's more work, that's homeschool. That, that's homeschool to me. Because right now getting those basic, basic skills established is probably more important right now than learning the colors of the rainbow, which she's gonna learn anyway. Or learning how to add and multiply, how to mul preschoolers don't multiply, what am I thinking? But she doesn't need to know how to add four plus two right now. But she does need to know how to pick up a pencil and eat lunch properly. So today with Naomi at therapy, it was all about the food. It's all about the fork and using it properly and the textures. We did spaghetti, we did oranges, and I brought some beans. All of them, different textures. I mean, she likes the oranges, but totally different textures. Since we do OT, we do OT three times a week. It's very intensive. And as a result, we do different things each day. So today was food. Tomorrow, maybe Play-Doh. It may be on the swing. It may be puzzles, it may be potty training, it, whatever, whatever the therapist has plans, we do something different each session. So now, we are gonna have lunch. It's time for lunch. Yes, and I'm gonna pick out. We're actually going to Publix. We're gonna do like their little like sandwich stuff. We are at the YMCA, but we're having lunch in the parking lot. And we may have a little bit more. Naomi, what are you eating? <laughs> it was a ketchup bottle, not you. Look, 
Do you want to wear this? We're going to do this one, I think. Do you want to wear this one? Or do you want to wear it? Which one? This one? Okay. Are you rapping over there? No. You're beatboxing. So this was actually the first time she had ever taken dance. And I'm okay, she's like a big girl. Like that's just I, I still baby her sometimes. I'm on her. I'm and on. seeing her take this dance class and seeing her actually she was older than the kids in there. But she seemed like such a big girl. So now we're in the car hoping to get Wi-Fi because I want to do her speech therapy online. I'm actually using Gemini. Gemini is a program, it's approximately, for us it's $60 a month, but the scholarship does cover it. Right now with her we're working on animal sounds. They have sign language with it. It's cool that I'm learning, you know, bird. This is bird, right? Bird. What's another one that we do? What's, what's an alligator? Alligator. Alligator. You know, the more I think about it, the, th the more I think about it, the more I think I like Gemini now because it's very, it's thematic, so we're doing animals. And then, you know, you do the cat family, and then there's one on bugs, and they start into all done and go a little bit here and there, but it's thematic. So you got the animals, you got them saying the word, you got what noise they make, and then you got the sign language. So that's convenient, especially now since we're going to go on a nature walk and look at bugs. And I will show you when we get home. We have uh, kiwi crates. Oh, wait, 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 wait. oh my gosh, she's yelling at everybody outside. This is what I'm talking about. She likes to say hi to everybody. We actually got a subscription to Kiwi Crates. So the theme for this month of March is bugs. Okay, they see you. Is it red? Yeah. No, those look green. Where's green? Where's the green leaf? Um. Green? Green? Nah. Are those pretty? Nah. I'm trying to blow it. Blow? They don't blow. Now, there is one more thing that I want to do with Naomi before we have dinner, go through baths, nighttime routine, all that stuff. And it is this lovely Kiwi Koala Crate that I got in the mail. Now, thanks to the Gardner Scholarship, which is an amazing scholarship that you can get in Florida, up to $10,000 a year for kids with special needs. Now, I also know that there are some options for low-income students. I got this for Naomi. Come here, princess. Hi. Well, it came with, actually I ordered extra, a nice little book 
And then it came with all these little projects. Now we've been doing them. You hey! see? Yeah? Yes. Come here. Hi. Are you excited? Do you want to do this? I want to do it. Too. Yeah, the other kids want to do it too, like always. So it comes with a couple of activities to do, and we're taking our time through them. Taking our time through them. Yesterday, she was with Awella all day, and she made this cute, show everybody your cute little bug costume. Right here, come here, come here. One, two antennas. We did, she didn't put the little dots on the antennas. And this little bug cape, huh? Yeah, do you wanna show them off? Show off your bug cape. Are you super bug? Say super bug! Yeah. Fly, fly! The day before we did a little matching game with the bugs, all the kids got involved, because that just has to happen. Pretty much anything I get Naomi, all the other kids have to find out how they can get involved. So today what we're gonna do, Miss Naomi, is we are gonna, I think this is like a mitten, like a bug. No, no, mitten. you're supposed to put like these ladybug things on it. You wanna yeah. do the mitten? That's what the instructions All right, well let's, and they come, yeah, it comes with a book, Looks right? Like a little activity book. And then they have some other activities in here that are not in the box. Like they have this cute little, it's the butterflies with the coffee paper and then the uh, clothespin and the pipe cleaners and the marker. I think it's the must do activity if your kid is under the age of six. So it's this ladybug pouch instruction kit. This is just an eye of viewfinder. It goes on your eye, not your nose. Yeah, your eye, on your eye like this. Go ahead, Naomi. Good job. Up there, good job. Okay, maybe you could put that one over here. I'm gonna cover up. Good job. All right, where's the eyeballs? Take the eyeball off. Good job. Can you put the eyeball right here? Put it right there. Good job, push it down. All right, let's get the other eyeball. Can you help? You got it. Yeah, put it right there. <gasps> Look at that. Watch. This is lacy, so you're gonna take it through. <laughs> Come on, here, take this. Pinch, put it in. Now take this hand and pull it out. Good job. Look at that, you wanna pull this? All right, now let's get the other one. Pull. Good job, and now look, you got a purse. Look at that, you can put it. Put stuff in there. Well, thank you guys for watching to the end of this video. I really hope that it was encouraging, inspirational, all that fun stuff. So you feel like you are not alone on this homeschool journey, regardless of what disability your child has. If they have a disability at all, you are not alone. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, I really encourage you to do so because that is why we are here. Also, think about leaving a comment down below. There is a great community of people down there that can come alongside you on this journey. I'm there. I try to comment as much as I can on your, your little chats. And um, I love it. So I hope to see you guys in some of our videos. I'm going to put them around here so you can check them out. I think you might like them. And until then, I will see you guys in our next video. Bye.